Okay, and the next one will be Empress. So you can, you know, you can use this one lady emperor, but Empress is probably better. And not too many people know it. So let's try to remember that. Erudite. This is a good word. Um, you can say scholarly, learned, academic. Um, I was saying that you could use these two, but you can actually, it doesn't really matter. I think some people want to use erudite. Um, especially academic is really useful. Scholarly is okay. Learned. And remember the pronunciation here is learned. Because learn means um, the verb, and learned is going to be the adjective. All right, next we have elders and elderly. The problem is a lot of people say olders or youngers, right? And that's where you're going to have a problem. Um, there's no older. <sighs> we don't say that, so you might want to try to remember that. The opposite word is going to be youth. Um, not youngers. So this is kind of confusing, right? And a lot of people are going to make that mistake. So it's kind of understandable. Uh, there's no equivalent to that for youth. All right, let's go to the next one, expect. <clears throat> 如果是, 就是很期望, right? 等待, right? Look forward to. Expect, 就是有点指望. Okay, so don't say like, I expect it, you know, or I am expecting it, okay? Because the meaning is going to be different. So this is a word that you know, but maybe using it correctly. Finally, let's do ingredients. Your bunch of materials. Material the hua shi ni zhuo Ingredients shi shi wu de cai liao. So don't get that one wrong. Okay, and I'll see you guys next week.